Hi friends, I welcome you all here at TNV Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about an international standard ISO 50001-2018. Now we shall discuss about its clause 10, Improvement. This clause 10 covers issues that need to be addressed such as non-conformities, corrective action and continual improvement to enhance performance going forward. This clause has two sub-clauses, 10.1 non-conformity and corrective action and 10.2 continual improvement. We shall begin with the sub-clause 10.1 non-conformity and corrective action. This sub-clause 10.1 of ISO 50001-2018 states that when non-conformity is identified, the organization must react to the non-conformity and as applicable to take action to control and correct it and to deal with the consequences. As per clause 10.1, organization must evaluate the need for action to eliminate the causes of the non-conformity in order that it does not recur or occur elsewhere by reviewing the non-conformity, determining the causes of the non-conformity and determining if similar non-conformities exist or can potentially occur. The clause 10.1 specifies that organization must implement any action needed and review the effectiveness of any corrective action taken. This subclause 10.1 also specifies that organization must make changes to the energy management system if necessary to meet the requirement of the standard. As per this subclause 10.1, the organization must ensure that corrective actions taken should be appropriate to the effects of the encountered non-conformities. Lastly, the sub-clause 10.1 states under mandatory documentation requirements that the organization must retain documented information of the nature of the non-conformities and subsequent actions taken and the results of any corrective action. Coming to the sub-clause 10.2, continual improvement. The sub-clause 10.2, continual improvement of ISO 50001-2018 states that the organization must continually improve the suitability, adequacy and effectiveness of the energy management system. The organization must demonstrate continual energy performance improvement. Let me now summarize this. Clause 10.2 in general, Clause 10.2 continual improvement of ISO 50001-2018 specifies that an organization maintains its energy management system regularly to ensure that it is appropriate for purpose, adequately comprehensive and effective, continual improvement is a crucial aspect of the energy management system in the effort to achieve and maintain the suitability, competence and effectiveness of the energy management system as it relates to the objectives of the organizations. Organizations with operational energy management system must regularly attempt to improve their management system. It is difficult for organizations nor their contexts to remain static. Moreover, the risks to energy management systems as well as the methods of misusing them are rapidly evolving. Eventually, there is no energy management system that can remain perfect. It must act as a constant pace of improvement. However, an organization's context and internal dynamics remain the same. Continual improvement is just not a requirement of an energy management system, but it's a need of every organization. To illustrate non-conformity or risk-related improvements, an analysis of energy management system components based on the competence, suitability and effectiveness criteria may show that the component exceeds energy management system requirements or is incompetent. Changing the management system can often improve the energy management system of the organization. Now, here a question comes, where from to get the improvements? 
improvements can come from a number of sources. Now, here comes a question, where from to get the improvements? Improvements can come from a number of sources like internal and external audits, output from management reviews, incidents and suggestions including those from interested parties, etc. The organization may select those improvements it feels can add value to the energy management system. Suggestions from internal and external auditors also do not need to be implemented but should be considered. Organization can set the time frames for implementing agreed improvements. Now let me talk about some tips for the organizations to achieve improvements. Tip number one, to improve organization should conduct internal and external audits regularly and should also conduct regular and appropriate management reviews. Tip number two, organizations should implement suggestions from interested parties into the energy management system according to their perceptions. Tip number three, organization should maintain a record regarding whether the organization is following regulatory policies or not. Tip number four, organization should reconsider energy management system controls. Tip number five, organization should match organizational activities to the requirements of ISO 50001 standard. Friends, these were some of the tips for an organization to achieve improvement. Now, to discuss further the clause 10.2, the top management can also set objectives for continuous improvements such as measuring effectiveness, cost or process maturity. Energy management system is considered as an improvement component of business operations. To stay connected with developments, organization should periodically review the energy management system to ensure that it functions and is effective and also is consistent with the organization's objectives. The assessment can also include an overview of the efficiency of the energy management system and the components of its resources, evaluating whether their usage of resources is appropriate, if there is a possibility of productivity loss or opportunity to achieve greater effectiveness. Area of improvement can also be identified while managing non-conformities with corrective actions. Once areas of improvement are identified, the organization should be consistent in maintaining them by evaluating them to determine whether or not they are worth pursuing. The organization should also be consistent in maintaining them by planning and implementing the actions to deal with the opportunities confirming that benefits are realized and non-conformities do not occur or should plan for corrective actions for non-conformities. Lastly, the organization should be consistent in maintaining areas of improvements by evaluating the effectiveness of the actions. Friends, we have finished all the clauses of ISO 50001-2018 Energy Management System. The standard ISO 50001-2018 also provides a correspondence between ISO 50001-2011 and ISO 50001-2018 under Annex B and the bibliography for more detailed information about various fundamentals techniques and requirements etc. You can see here on screen the correspondence between ISO 50001-2011 and ISO 50001-2018 and bibliography at the end of the session and could explore more about the standards. So friends, now we have reached at the end of this session. I hope that you have an idea about ISO 50001-2018 energy management system. I sincerely thank you for your interest and attention. Thanks and best wishes.